Hi, today we are making a citrus soap. It's going to be some kind of citrus goat cream soap. And I've got it already started. Here is, there is, the oils I'm using are lard and castor oil and olive oil. So this is a 40% lard recipe and a, it's 10% castor oil and 15% olive oil, okay? And I've actually got uh, lard that is deodorized, so it doesn't have as much of that lard stinkiness that it can have. And then here I've got my lye and goat cream solution. It's got a, about two ounces of distilled water, but most of the rest is frozen goat cream. This is from actual local, uh, goat milk that I just basically um, skimmed the fat off of, froze the fat, and I've had it frozen for a little while. So it it's actually smells a little bit um, freezer-ish, but I'm hoping to cover that up with some of the essential oils that I'm going to be using, some of the citrusy stuff. Okay, so that is our beginning. This is going to be a, a 32 ounce of oil soap recipe and it's going to go in that crock pot right there there's just some of my lye container and so it's gonna be pretty and smelling nice and it might have I might put in some color as well all right here you can get a better view of the stirring of the goat cream and you can see that it's quite creamy and it's a lot of goat cream for a small amount of lye and so you know and it was all frozen so it's very slowly melting with the heat of the lye okay as you can see so and I just as I stir I distribute more of the hot <laughs> that's my baby crying Shh, I'll get you hold on I'll get you, hold on, hold on. So as I stir, you can see that it melts more and more. Once it's done melting, I'm gonna put it into the oils. Now, I'm going to very briefly, shh, quit squealing. I'm gonna very briefly microwave the oils that you saw there, and that of course makes it much easier to incorporate this lye and milk and water solution into it okay so I had the option of heating my oils in the crock pot or in the microwave and I just microwaved it I probably um, I prefer heating them up in the crock pot but I just wanted like a quick you know plop it in the in the um, crock pot today this is pretty much completely melted as you can see it's completely liquid um, at, and once I put it into the crock pot it's going to be even more so I'm just going to go ahead and pour the oils now into the crock pot, okay? There's some of the lard that's a little bit, um, a little bit stubborn, but I'll just go ahead and put that in afterwards, okay? It's the same with the, um, there just might be a little bit of straggling of the solution, of the lye solution. See? Just bits of like, you know, hardened uh, milk and or fat, but I can put that in later on. Oops. Okay. So I've put it, I've set it on low to start, but at some point I might turn it to high and I'll just leave it alone for a little bit after I stir it actually. I'm gonna stir it first, and then I'm gonna stick blend to get saponification, okay? And this is just the boring part, you know, because um, 
the scents and the colors aren't in and whatnot, but it's just part of the process. So here I'm stick blending, and I'll just um, take as much of the air out of the stick blender as I can, and then I'll just basically blend, 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 okay? And that makes it more creamy, and actually saponifies it. Here I'm stick blending, and basically I just, um, as much as I can, pop the air out of the stick blender and blend. And that helps upon if I here um, a very short time has elapsed probably 10 15 minutes and I've stick blended a good amount and as you can see how much thicker it's gotten uh, the consistency how much thicker it is it's like a vanilla pudding it actually looks really good and it looks much more yellow in in real life than on the screen and there's even like yellowing of the edges of the of the stuff so here so it's been I don't know 20 minutes more and as you can see it's really hardened up well and it's got several layers um, so basically I might add some water here soon okay it's turning into you know soon kind of like a mashed potatoes consistency and it's kind of splitting up a little bit and it's still only ever been on low. I haven't put it on high yet or anything, and I might not, considering how quickly things are moving. Um, sometimes I scrape the sides and incorporate, but when I have this much dryness so quickly, I'd add, probably add a little bit of water too soon, okay? I wanted to show you what it looks like after another 20 minutes or so, and you can see there's a lot of separation of some of the oil and stuff and some of the solids. So um, I'm going to apply the stick blender now to it. Okay, you can see this incredible stage where it's almost completely dividing up into, you know, the solids in the solution and the oils are almost completely separating. If I just, you can see if I just, you know, go ahead and um, spoon it around, it it incorporates again almost completely and then it will you know again synthesize or you know uh, homogenize once I use my stick blender again I want to show you show the you next that. phase this is really really nice and the heat is keeping it soft but it's pretty much completely done I'm going to add a little bit of water and do some mixing some more mixing and let's let it stand for a little bit. You'll see it gets shiny and it gets kind of foamy. Okay, I'm not really cleaning up the sides. Normally I do. I use the, I like to scrape all my sides clean and use all that stuff. But it's in a really good state right now. I'm going to add my scents. I'm going to make this citrusy. It's going to have lemongrass, which is going to make it really lemony. I'm going to have maybe a little bit of tree tree. And then a little bit of the patchouli, one of these types of patchouli and a little bit of actual lemon cold press, which doesn't last so long in the soap. But, you know, I've had it on keep warm because it was just going so fast. And so now that's gonna be off. Um, and just like to mix it up and cool it just a little bit before the scents go in so that the scent, you know, so that I don't burn off my scents, you know, especially since it's essential oil you know, and it's uh, the, the citrusy ones are volatile, so I don't want to um, burn it off. The, the purpose of the patchouli is to anchor the scent, to help it to last longer. Because patchouli sticks so long, the theory is anything you add with the patchouli will la last longer in the soap. I'm going to be using this uh, kind of a loafy mold to make a loaf of soap and then slice it up into bars. And then any extra soap I have left, I'm going to put in these little... Uh, single cavity uh, molds that are floral and so pretty so that I can use all of my soap. So okay. here I am putting it in the mold and I'm just getting a little bit and put it in the mold. Then um, as I go I will bang out the mold to flatten it and it actually does it. I've put in about one ounce of lemongrass about I don't know 
maybe less than a half an ounce of the tea tree, just a few drops of the patchouli, maybe a little more than a few drops, and about half an ounce of the lemon, maybe an, a whole ounce of the lemon, excuse me. So um, after I did that, I smelled it and I thought it needed more lemongrass, so I put in maybe another half ounce of lemongrass. It smells really, really good now. I decided not to go with any color because I think the natural color is just going to be just fine. And so I don't, I have a bunch left, so I think I might have enough for some of the cavity molds and to make this much, a much taller loaf. Okay, I'm going to unmold today's soap, which is a citrus, it's a lemon goat cream soap, and it smells really, really good. I'm going to peel it out of the mold. Okay, it can be tricky because if it's not hard enough, you can really get messed up. So you can see how it kind of got shaped by the bottom of the mold here, right? Got shaped by the bottom of the mold here, right? Okay, and I'm going to also unmold the uh, single cavity flower molds. And oh, it came out so pretty. See, it came out pretty clean, pretty clean from the mold. Sometimes if the soap, this soap was really, really hard, which was great. Um, I used a lot of lard. It was 40% lard, and that's how come. Sometimes if your soap is a little bit soft, you can put it in the freezer. You can put the mold in the freezer, and that helps unmold nicely and cleanly. But this time, we didn't have to do anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and cut. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Okay, we're going to cut the end, which is usually not so nice. Just cut out kind of the, the fact that the end is not even. We're going to cut that. Okay, maybe a little more on this end. Okay, and then we start. Um, it's going to help me if I get a ruler, so hold on a second. Because I can kind of measure and have the same size bars. So let's see, this is telling me I can have like maybe like eight bars that are the same but maybe I'm gonna do a half an inch so then I can have more so sometimes I can mark it out but this time I'm just gonna mark it with my finger okay so I got one half inch bar and that's what it looks like it's kind of the end still so it's a little bit not even on the bottom but really nice and it smells really good it smells kind of like a lemon custard sort of okay okay it's fine so I'm gonna go here and this is telling me another half an inch bar so I'm gonna cut right there half an inch oops I don't want to cut my flower so I gotta move my flower back and very pretty right really nice and I'll just keep going like that. Half an inch, half an inch, right? Shh, kids. Mm, this one might not be so precise, half an inch, but not too bad. Not too bad there, see? 